in cancer care different types of doctors and other healthcare professionals often work together to create a patient's overall care and treatment plan that combines different types of treatment and supportive care this is called a multidisciplinary team treatment options and recommendations depend on several factors including the type and the stage of the cancer possible side effects and patient's preference as well as overall health of the patient surgery for pancreatic cancer includes removing the part of the pancreas depending on the location and the size of the tumor in the pancreas an area of healthy tissue around the tumor is also often removed this is called a margin a goal of surgery is to have a clear margins or a negative margin which means that there are no cancer cells at the edges of the healthy tissue removed surgery for pancreatic cancer may be combined with chemotherapy and or radiation therapy typically this additional treatments are given after surgery which is called adjuvant therapy however systemic therapy and or radiation therapy may sometimes be used before surgery to shrink the tumor this is called neoadjuvant therapy or preoperative therapy after neoadjuvant therapy the tumor is restaged before planning the surgery restaging is usually done with another computer tomography which is a ct scan to look at the change in the tumor size and what nearby structures and blood vessels it is affecting different types of surgery are performed depending on the purpose of the surgery sometimes the surgeon may choose to start with a laparoscopy during a laparoscopy several small holes are made in the abdomen and a tiny camera is passed into the body while the patient receives anesthesia during this surgery the surgeon can find out if the cancer has spread to other parts of the abdomen if it has then surgery to remove the primary tumor of the pancreas is generally not recommended in all the surgeries nearby lymph nodes are removed as a part of the operation whipple's procedure is also referred to as pancreatico duodenectomy a whipple procedure is done if the cancer is located only in the head of the pancreas this is an extensive surgery in which the surgeon removes the head of the pancreas and the part of the small intestine also called duodenum as well as the bile duct and the stomach then the surgeon reconnects the digestive tract and biliary system distal pancreatectomy is another surgery which is commonly done if the cancer is located in the body or tail of the pancreas in this surgery the surgeon removes the tail and the body part which is the left side of the pancreas along with the spleen total pancreatectomy it is done if the cancer has spread throughout the pancreas or it is located at many areas in the pancreas so the word total pancreatectomy means removal of the entire pancreas supportive surgery and palliative procedures are often recommended to help the patient with the symptoms which are affecting the quality of life examples of palliative procedures and surgery includes a bypass surgery a stent placement and nerve blockage to alleviate jaundice nausea and vomiting and tumor associated pain respectively locally advanced pancreatic cancer is usually treated by combination of chemotherapy and radiotherapy metastatic pancreatic cancer will be managed by various combinations of chemotherapy targeted therapy and immunotherapy